good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borick as our Phantoms look to get a win in the home and home, in the home side of the home and home against the Hershey Bears tonight as they go on to play Hershey tomorrow as long as everything stays on cue. It is on cue and on par for tonight as Cates and Mayhew will return to the Phantoms. Unfortunately for Jerry Mayhew, he would have got a chance between Lawton and um, <clears throat> JVR there to impress at the NHL level, but he gets to be down with our Phantoms as one of the most potent goal scorers, and we get to see what he can do. Obviously, a former AHL MVP, uh, Jerry Mayhew, and we get a talented player in Jackson Cates who played very well, was one of the only good players on the ice in the Montreal game uh, that the Flyers lost, who's played very well in his games up there. So now we get to see what he can do back down here with the Phantoms. Um, Obviously, excuse me, against the Hershey Bears. Uh, this team, we lost a very tough game, 4-3 to three to Rochester in a shootout. But they just got to keep playing the same brand of hockey they've really been playing since the start of the month because they lost 5-3, to three, but they had three goals, four goals, four goals, three goals, three goals. Where obviously last month we were talking about, and earlier in the season, not having enough scoring punch, only getting two a game, getting less than two a game. Uh, w w which has been the biggest issue for most of the part, other than we had a 5-4 loss uh, t to Rochester and a 4-3 to loss uh, to the Charlotte Checkers um, as well. But in November and um, in November and especially in December in some games, we started to see the scoring get going, and especially of late. So if the Lehigh Valley Phantoms can keep that scoring up and continue to be over that hump of what we saw early on in the season, which was a two-goal bugaboo that I talked about in past videos again and over, this team has a much better chance to be successful in converse because their defense has been only adequate, usually, I think, is probably a way to put it at times this year. It's been suspect at times in front of whether it's Urson, whether it was the few, whether it was the little moments Usti was in, uh, in front of Pat Nagel or Samuel, or not Samuel Urson, or Felix Sandstrom. The defense has let up those high octane, like, it's not like the defense has been bad overall. It's just when they let up the chances, it, it, it's just that, that, like, times you don't want to early on, late in periods, all that type of stuff. Similar to what John said about the Boston Bruins, honestly, when I did my NHL video with the Bruins. So if they can keep playing how they've been playing more, even that tough 4-3 loss, if you can keep playing the brand and style of hockey, really ever since AV got fired, it seemed like there's been a trickle-down effect from the organization. Like, oh crap, now I have to impress the new head man. If they can keep playing... His style with more jam, as Lavi would say, and also Laffy uh, loves that style. Um, I think this team will be able to <clears throat> keep rebounding and keep looking a lot better. Now, our fans are 6 11 4 and 2. They have a lot of work to do if they want to rebound, rebound, but they also have been through hell and back with so many people up to the Philadelphia Flyers and so many people out with injuries that are key pivotal players uh, for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms as well. But having Cates and Mayhew back for this. Uh, game will be huge. It will be interesting to see if they go with Felix. He's, I would presume, would be coming back down as well, unless if he's staying up. It didn't say anything about him being recalled. So, I, oh no, no, he was returned to the Phantoms yesterday. Yeah, so I would assume uh, they would go with Felix Sandstrom in this game since he was returned to the Phantoms yesterday. You got Cates and May you returned today. If they don't, though, Pat Nagel's been fantastic uh, when he's had to come in. Ursan was great. Uh, last game before Nagel had to come in for him, but I thought Nags was fine. Uh, they just ended up, of course, getting the loss uh, in overtime there, which is not really much he could have done about that. But again, in this game, it's always tough against the Hershey Bears. Just keep exiting your zones and entering the next zone a lot better like we've been. This That's what we've been doing particularly better this month. We had a couple good wins, 5-3 to three against Charlotte, 4-0 to against Wilkes-Barre, 4-1 uh, to one against Hershey, which if we can play them like we did in that game in November, we'll be set because that was one of the best games we played. Then we went on a losing skid after that game in November and couldn't figure out how to win a hockey game. So if you can play them like that, we're set. But you got to play them also – similar to just how it's been getting better for zone exit, zone entries this month. Now it's just the little things kind of have to adjust. Where early on in the season, it was everything was kind of a crapshoot. Now it's starting to get more normalized where you just see, don't have these breakdowns. Do not have the overcomplication on offense. And those are things that are a lot easier to fix than early in the season when you just couldn't figure out a way to win a game and you kept finding ways to lose, which is more of a mental thing at that point. And then also more of the mental side of not figuring out how to get over the two hump. You get shots from that, but you can't get over the two goal hump. Now that this team's kind of got those off of their back, it seems like they're pushing in the right direction and grooving a little bit better and playing a little bit looser 
um, and beating some good teams like Hartford twice, playing a good team like Rochester down to the wire, beating a good Monsters team, and obviously uh, squaring off against a good Checkers team and just losing after they were able to beat uh, Charlotte last month. So <clears throat> I think slowly but surely, it's not great yet, but it's been better play. They can beat this team at home just like they did last month as long as they play them well, and then we'll see what the heck happened in Hersey tomorrow as long as that game keeps on track to happen. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. I hope you all enjoyed this preview of the Lehigh Valley Phantoms and Hershey Bears. Subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the game.